Hello and welcome back to Barossa Valley Crafts. Today I'm going to be using a um, stamp from uh, Sweet Poppy. Um, it's the Sweet Poppy Poinsettia. So uh, I've taken the stamp out and you'll see why in a moment, but that's the packaging. But this is the stamp that um, well, I'm going to be using. Now you can stamp it as is, so it's just one stamp. But what I've done is stamped it several times and then cut it out to make layers. So here's one way you could do it. So this one I have just stamped so the leaves are showing in green and then the flower is all in reds, but they're all layered. But also another way you can do it is adding glitter. So you can see there it's all nice and glittery. And if you hold it on an angle, let's see if we can see it. You can see all the layers. So I've done the same with this one. It's all in layers. It's a bit hard to see. Anyway, you'll see what I mean as we go along. But I've just done it two different ways to show you how you could do it. But the one I'm going to show you today is how to do it with all the glitter. Because I love sparkly things. So to start off with, you need to stamp several times. So to start off with, we're going to stamp the flower on the green. So I'll just ink up. I'm using VersaFine Claire uh, Nocturne for my stamping. So this is... This will be layer number one. Just make sure it's all out. So now you've two ways. You can stamp like this, like I've just done, or you can use VersaMark and then emboss it if you wanted to have that raised effect. But for this one, we're just going to use the um, VersaMark. So we're only doing one in green, but then because I've got three layers on the card, so if we get this again, you can see I've got one, two, three layers. So I need to stamp that three times. So I'll just show you how I've done that, which is same as before. So you need to stamp the whole thing three times now you don't have to do it like I have here on the red and the go the green you can do it on any color you like I just find because I'm going to be putting glitter on it I want it to match the color glitter so if you happen to miss a little bit of glitter area it's not so obvious okay so that's what we've done there so now you would do that two more times so that you would end up with one green and three red because then what we're going to do is trim them so i'll just move this out of the way so now with some scissors so with the green one you're going to trim all around the whole thing so just <laughs> you need to enjoy fussy cutting to do this because there's a lot of fussy cutting so you just trim all around it until you are left with this. So that will be layer number one. Then with your first red one, you're going to trim around the flowers, but not the leaves. We're going to trim the leaves out of it. So cutting around all the flowers and you continue that until you have done that. So then that is going to sit on top of here. So that'll be layer number two. Then you continue reducing the amount uh, of, that you're leaving so that each time you're getting less. So layer number three will be that one. And then layer number four will be that one. 
and then we're going to use foam tape to build them up. So once you've cut them all out, that's when we're going to start the glittering. So here's one that I've already started. So I'm using a Zig uh, pen. It's um, This one's a ballpoint one, and it's great for this sort of work because you can do it nice and fine. So just where the leaves are, you can see there where I've missed a bit, so we'll do a touch up on there. Okay, so using the glue pen, we're just going to put the glue wherever you want the glitter. So I'm just basically using it like a colouring pencil and just colouring in. Now, if you were to have this embossed, um, the embossing will help with the guidelines, but either way, it, it still looks effective either way. Okay, so then once you've put the glue on there, now I have my glitter in little tubs. So we're going to pop this one in the green one. And now all the leaves are glittered in red. Uh, sorry, all the leaves are glittered in green. So now we're going to pop that aside. Then we're going to do the red ones. So we would then pick out our first layer. So there's your base. There's, uh, we've got to line it up right. So this one will go this way. So with this one, we're only going to glitter one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to do those. So again, we would then get your glitter pen and, uh, sorry, your glue pen, not your glitter pen. And we'll put the glue where you want the glitter to stick. Like I say, you can do this with any coloured cardstock. I just like to get it to match the particular colour glitter that I'm using. Okay, so we do that and then... I have another little pot here of red glitter and you'll pop that in there so that's then on there and you would continue with those that you want done so it would look like that so then you continue so that you've got your next one will be this size so this one is glittered on one, two, three, four, five parts. And then the last layer, which is this one. So they would get all glittered like that. So they're all done. And then what I've done is done little dots in the center and I've dipped it in gold glitter. Now, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Some people use pearl drops, but I've used gold glitter. Okay, so that's the basis of the card. And then it's a matter of putting it all together. So actually, I might leave the white paper there. It's probably a bit easier to see. So what I've done on the back, I've got little foam adhesive squares that I have put on the back. So we're going to remove the backing paper from the foam squares. Now, you don't necessarily have to use the same stamp I've used. This can be done with any stamps at all. If you can cut it into layers, you can do this with anything. Okay, so this one's got to go that way. So that's going to cover over all the other green parts that aren't glittered to give your second layer. And then we'll go for our next layer. Okay. 
that one yet. Alrighty, so that one will now go on to there. And then the last layer. Now, I haven't given dimensions for the base card size because you can do it to suit whatever size card you want to have for it. You don't necessarily have to have a small card. You can go big or small. And we'll pop that one onto there. And that's all the layers done. So if I tip it on its side again, you can see all the layers. It's a bit hard to see, isn't it? So this one with your base, you've got the base card and the one, two, three layers. And then what I've done here is I've just got a piece of card and I've gone around it with some ink to make a background colour. And then just popping glue on the back and I have stuck that onto the base card to end up with that. So it's very easy to do. And um, like I say, you don't necessarily have to use this particular stamp. Any stamp that can be cut into layers, this can be done with. So hopefully you've enjoyed that. And if you have, please give me the thumbs up. And please feel free to come and join me on um, my Facebook page, Card Making for Beginners and Beyond. And you can share your creations in the group there of any cards that you've made. And they don't have to be from my tutorials. They can be anything and we're not limited to brands. So you can use any brands of stuff you like as well. And answer questions maybe to those that are learning. Hope you've enjoyed that and we'll see you again soon. Bye.